What's going on? I added some stuff to the Unraid server. And now it's even more badass. First thing that I added is a redundant power supply. Apparently you can get the little 460 watt power supplies for this thing for like, I think it was $27 shipped. <laughs> so kind of a no brainer. It's kind of nice. I like it. Uh, another thing I added was I have, move up camera. Hello, where are we going? There we go. I put another eight terabyte drive in. So now I have my eight terabyte parity. However big the parity is, is the largest single drive you can use. So if you have a six terabyte in here, all of your drives can only be six terabytes. If you have an eight terabyte in here, they can only be eight terabytes. Mine's eight terabytes. I've started filling it up with eight terabyte drives. I only have one left. So right now I have 19 terabytes total of parity protected storage. Another thing I added, let's see if I can get this off without breaking everything. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. I added in that little riser card thing right there. Can you see? Well, I'll put a I'll put a picture of it up so you know what the hell I'm talking about. In that riser card, I put a 240 gig M.2 NVMe SSD. NVMe is non-volatile memory express. It is the new uh, generation of solid state storage. Basically, it's just a really, really, really fast drive. And here's what the inside of my server looks like. So yeah, now I have 19 terabytes of storage as well as a 240 gig drive to speed things along. The cache drive, when you load stuff onto the array, it'll put it on the cache drive first if you want. And by doing that, it makes it just faster to load and faster to move stuff around and you know just faster overall. I actually might get a bigger one or add another one because it's, uh, from what I understand, Unraid can support two cache drives and that one being 240 gigs, it gets full kind of quick, believe it or not. So I might add another one, I don't know. It looks like I can add another one on the riser card that I have. I think I can just put another one in there, but I don't know, I have to look. So security cameras are still rocking. 19 terabytes of parity protected storage, good to go. I got the cache drive put in. I got redundant power supplies now. Everything's coming along quite nicely. On the software side of things, I have added some dockers. I got Plex up and running. I got radar, sonar, and MB all up and running. Uh, NZB Git, which is a downloader for uh, Usenet files and stuff. Uh, I installed MB because Plex doesn't work so great on the Shield TV. Um, it gets lots of, it, get, it loves to say that my network isn't fast enough. It's a kind of known issue. They actually talk about it in this thread all the time. This is the error that you get. Your connection to the server is not fast enough to stream this video. It's like, yeah, it is, shut up. I gave it a try and it, it's not as pretty as Plex and it's not as well laid out as Plex. It's very simple. I mean, it works better, but eh, I don't know. I'll probably stick with Plex and try to find some workaround or something. I don't know. It's kind of a pain in the ass though. I also have to fix my port mappings and my IP and stuff because right now I can't access Plex from outside the house. I also installed Nextcloud, which is amazing. It is basically everything um, Dropbox does, but you host it yourself. Because as you guys may or may not be aware, the cloud is just somebody else's computer. This is your own cloud and it's awesome. I'm having major issues accessing it from outside of my network though and not being able to access it from outside of my network kind of makes it useless. So that's still in the works. You may have actually saw the notification that popped up over here. That's for a forum I, I posted in the uh, Nextcloud forum. Hopefully someone can sort that out. I'm, I'm having issues with SSL certificates so that'll get, that'll get sorted. But one of the coolest things that I set up, it was actually really, really easy. I highly recommend it to all of you. Pi-hole. Pi-hole is a black hole uh, application or program, operating system, I don't know, whatever, that is designed to run on Raspberry Pis. What a black hole is, is you can send unwanted traffic on your network to the black hole. And it just makes it go away forever. It, it's, you know, as the name would suggest, it just goes away. 
it's called Pi Hole because it was intended to run on Raspberry Pis, but you can run it on anything. I'm just running it in a Docker container. Once it's up and running, the way I have it set up at least, it acts as my entire network's domain name server, or DNS. What the DNS does is it changes the readable stuff, like google.com or facebook.com or whatever, it changes that into the actual IP address that the computer and the network stuff can use. So by using this as the domain name server, I can filter out everything that I don't want coming through my network into the black hole. Filter everything into there. Um, malicious sites, stuff that's just not generally good to go to, uh, anything in the block list, basically. I use it mostly for um, blocking ads. So this acts as a network-wide ad blocker. And it works great, and it's free, and it's super easy to set up. I highly recommend doing it. It's really, really easy. You can run it on basically anything, from a Raspberry Pi to a Docker container to a virtual machine to anything. It's super, super easy. Pi Hole, check it out. It's super awesome. I'll put some links in the description, uh, a little bit more info about Pi Hole and some different ways to set it up and stuff because it's really, really good, really, really easy. Highly recommend it. Yep, been busy, doing stuff. Keep tweaking this thing. Upcoming stuff is I'm gonna put another eight terabyte drive in it, so I will be maxed out. That'll give me uh, what 24 terabytes of storage total. The biggest thing that I need to do right now, though, is get Nextcloud working because I actually transferred everything from my Dropbox, which I keep a local copy of. I transferred everything off my Dropbox drive locally onto the Nextcloud folder directory, whatever, and it's fine. It can stay there. I still have my old you know, Dropbox backup and it's, it's all still in Dropbox. I'm still paying for it and stuff, but I want to transition off of that onto my own thing for multiple reasons. One of which being, I won't have to pay for Dropbox anymore. So yeah, getting Nextcloud up and running is my number one priority right now. So I'm going to go work on that. If you guys have any questions or comments about the, the good old Unraid server, leave them down below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.